Hi everyone, this is Valerie McGraw for the My Facial East Treatment Center in Malvern, Pennsylvania with another tip for the day. And today I wanted to show you the lower extremity elongation uh, My Facial East uh, exercise uh, that is very helpful for anybody that may need some length in particularly their posterior legs, hamstrings, anybody that you would traditionally give a hamstring stretch to, this will work better. Um, so we, we incorporate a, a stretch in the hamstring, but with the elongation. And anytime you add elongation into a traditional stretch, uh, you're going to get a lot more from it. Um, we do it in standing. This can be done um, either over uh, at a, a desk or a kitchen table or the island of uh, in the kitchen. Uh, the counter would be a little bit higher for somebody that's really tight in their hamstrings. Otherwise, they could use a desk or a kitchen table. Um, I'm also going to add in a couple of extra components so that we get some trunk elongation and upper extremity elongation, but we're going to start with the legs. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to square up to um, the desk or the counter or the aisle in the kitchen and they're going to bend over and depending on what their, the length of their hamstring is, if they're really tight at this position, they can kind of stay there and rest their head. If they can get down further, let them do that. Or they could put a they could put a couple of pillows if they need and lay over the pillows. But I'm not going to use them right now. But they can use it if they want, just so they're supported. So the first thing they're going to do is to come down and rest on the surface or on their elbows with their head uh, relaxed. Then they're going to imagine a string tied to the sacrum. And if somebody were to pull up on the string, it would allow their sacrum to rise toward the ceiling. So they imagine that. And when they do that, they may feel pulling um, anywhere down uh, their legs. Uh, it could be in their posterior thigh, might be down toward their calves or their feet, even in the adductors. So their feet to start are about shoulder width apart. So I elongate here, and then gradually I'm going to drift back um, and I'm going much faster than what you would actually do in, in a home stretch. So you drift back and then off to one side. Okay. So little by little, a few millimeters at a time, I'm going to do that drifting back and I'm going to notice where I feel the pull. And when I feel those lines of tension, that's where I'm going to wait. And then as that gets a little bit easier, I'll drift a little further toward my butt. Eventually, I'm going to drift off to one side or the other. So now I'm going to go off to my left side. And as I do that, right now I'm feeling more down my left leg. And I'd stay with that a bit. And then I could eventually add my trunk, some elongation of the left trunk and rib cage, and some elongation with my left arm. By crossing my left arm, if I'm drifting back and to the left, I'm going to cross the left arm over midline, I'm going to rest my head on my arm and that kind of helps to anchor the arm. I then I'm going to telescope by just reaching ever so slightly this way and as I do that I begin to feel a stretch, a pretty good stretch, elongation stretch down my left uh, lateral rib cage. So I'm still drifting back off to the left. My left arm is this way. My head anchors and I am now in this letter C this way, okay, because my body is falling that way. And I just stay with that as it gets a little bit easier. I drift a little further, just a few millimeters into the range. And as I do that, I can feel even more of a stretch in my left uh, leg all the way down the posterior aspect. I feel in my left rib cage and uh, down into my arm. Okay. One more way to enhance this is to wherever you feel the pull in the ribs, you can imagine a string tied to that rib pulling perpendicularly away from the ribs. So this is a nice whole body elongation. You can do it anywhere really. Um, you can do it on the go. You could, if you're traveling and taking a road trip or something, you can lay over the hood of your car or a picnic table or something like that at a rest stop. 
you can eventually gently unwind in this position feels real good take a couple um, big breaths especially into the side where you're elongating that rib cage and really can help to open things up so give that a try and let me know how it works